as taxpayers, we're going to stand up for ourselves. We're going to demand a return on our investment and we are going to take it back into our hands because, I'm sorry, gentlemen, it doesn't look like you've done a fantastic job. When are we going to admit this privatization experiment has failed? Um, I want to explain why precisely it has failed so badly. So let's start with some of the claims for the opposition. So they've talked about Russian gas, and I understand this is significant. But let's compare the stats for a moment. The EU has imported 39% of its gas, um, and slightly more as a percent of its oil, I believe, um, before the invasion from Russia. The, the figure drops to just 5% from the UK. The UK received bounteous supplies of oil and gas from Norway back in the summer. The disruption to the UK, however, is demonstrably more severe than almost any other country in Europe. If you look at France, for example, um, they are spending what is equivalent to about 15 billion for only a 15% rise in prices. So wh where on earth could it have been going wrong? So we've had everybody's fault but mine from the opposition. We've had blame um, heaped upon every conceivable source. But maybe it is something to do with the fact that we have this Byzantine mesh of different privatised interests not working in tandem with each other. The United Kingdom is spending the most of any country in Europe, despite being the least reliant energy to get one of the biggest hikes. We are told it has nothing to do with this Byzantine mesh, with the profiteering, with the racketeering. Well, um, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in this house, I think it's finally time to say enough is enough, and we demand as our right as taxpayers to influence the system. The long-term security of this planet and the security of old age and the security of the poorest in our society depend on it. And I urge you to be compassionate, to understand that energy is something that we should all own and we should all be responsible for society. So it's a time to say to the national grid and to everyone else, enough is enough and we as the people are taking back control now. I know that I've had enough of energy executives telling us it can't be done, it's not possible and the only way is forking more cash without consequence. The only thing we can do now is nationalise these companies and nationalise the grid. The agreement came when we were all very busy on christmas eve in in my case organizing the the local nativity trail 